hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we will be creating these beauties here now today will be the first video i'll be using this practice hand which is the red iguana hand and if you guys see my review on this hand you guys know what i went through with it now this yellow here we will be using i created this myself and at the moment we just not sure what it's going to get so today i think we'll be me trying these colors out swatching it out this sunflower color i thought would be perfect for these nails so we will be creating some sunflower nails today and also adding some 3d sunflowers so i'll let you guys sit back and enjoy while i get these nails started okay so i'll try to um show you guys everything i'm using as you can see anything on this brush because this is one of my old brushes I, when I'm at home I'm just using some things and I do want to show you guys how you guys can bring your old brushes back so don't throw those away I'll show you guys how you can bring them back to life and that's kind of what I've been using here and that's why sometimes you see the acrylic do stick to these brushes but again we're just trying to bring them back to life so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me go ahead and get these nails started. It's going to be really quick and simple and easy. Also in this video, I will be using some decals, water decals that I designed. And I believe they are on my website already. So you guys can check that out. All the links are down below. So again, let's get into the video. And while we're here, just don't mind my crusty little fingers because I've been putting nails on and taking them off, putting them on, pushing those cuticles back. So yeah, don't mind them, okay? So again, we'll just get into the video. Let's just kind of focus on the hand. And again, because this is my first time working with this hand, um, you, you guys will see the camera angle switch at times. So I'm just trying to get a, the best angle and the best views for you guys um, so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing and what's going on. So um, this color so far I'm liking. Um, it's going on really good and really pigmented. So um, it's a thumbs up for me. I think what's giving me a hard time a little bit is the... Um, cover powders that I've been working on so I believe I just need to blend them up a little more and they will be a lot better so as you guys can see I went ahead and speeded things up so we can get through this a little faster okay so on the next part I come in we'll be able to talk about the cover powder that I'm using Okay guys, so now we're on the cover powder here. Um, I don't think I showed you guys which one I'm using, but I think this is the one that actually acts proper. I'm not sure. I believe so. I, I haven't seen any of the little pigments that I've been having trouble with on this set, so it could be okay. Um, So far, so good. So, I think on here I just used my cover. Um, no, this is one that I made, I believe. I can tell now. I think I see some of the little pigments um, coming through. Because in some spots, I can see like where it didn't blend in well. Um, and it, it shows through on some of the nails and some of the nails. But what we're going through right now. So at 
this point, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the cover powder and then go in with the clear and cap everything in and start with the design. Now, I don't remember at this point of editing if I added uh, me shaping and filing. If not, we're going to go straight into the designs, okay? So we'll come back at that point. So thank you guys if you make it this far because these beauties are to die for. I know you guys are going to love it. And if you want to get this decal, make sure you go over to my website now and shop girls. I have plenty of decals on there now and much more to come. So stay tuned.
Okay guys, and these will be the water decals we will be using today. And this will be the 3D sunflower we will be using to place on the nails. And also we have some little small 3D beads that we will also be applying. Okay, so these are printed on white background so it's no need to paint the nail uh, any color because it will show up on white. Now you can paint the nail white if you would like, just in case any spots um, do not print um, properly or if any pieces come up. So um, you can also paint the background um, white to blend everything in, okay? So right here I'm just showing you guys me cutting them and getting them prepared, soaking them in the water so we can go ahead and apply them to the nail. So at this point in the video, I believe I'm going to go in with some hard gel to try to apply the 3D um, sunflower. So um, you guys will see that I was having trouble first off getting it to stay steady and to get this light on. Now I believe what the problem is is that my light was probably um, not strong enough or just needed. That flower was just slipping and sliding. It was not. It was not acting properly. I had to now try to put the lamp on top to think that it would try to dry faster here at this point, and that did not work. So what I'm gonna have to do is go in with some um, clear acrylic and apply it that way because of the size of it. Um, I even tried this McCart um, stone glue and no bueno. So at the end of the day, I had to go in with some clear um, acrylic to get her to stay on, okay? So as you guys see me struggle through this, you know, the struggle was real, but eventually we got through it, okay? So I'll let you guys finish watching and I'll get out of your way.
as you guys see, um, I did apply the clear acrylic and she is on there. She is on there. So I'm going to go ahead with the McCart uh, rhinestone blue and apply the rest of the um, 3D to it and finish her off. So as you guys can see, this was quick and simple, just with a little extraness in one nail, you know. If you're going to do it big, you might as well just do one little finger. And then the water decals actually came out really nice as well. So we're going to just go ahead and add some beads here. And yeah, top coat that baby. And we'll be back with the finished look. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoy. I really enjoy creating this and can't wait to bring you guys some more videos. As you guys can see, I'm working on these angles. I am in frame, out of frame, and you know, and don't mind my lamp. Don't mind it. It's getting the job done. It's getting the job done. So again, thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell. So you will be notified next time I bring you another video. I do have some new press on videos coming up as well. So make sure you guys tune in. Okay. So I will see you guys soon.